To really get to know a word, students need to see a lot of examples of the word in use. To learn to use the word prototype, students need to see some more examples of how it can be used. They can see that it is a noun because it is used with an article, and it performs the action of the sentence. A prototype will begin testing. But is it always a noun? Many nouns in English can be used as a verb, too. Can I prototype something? Is it always used alone to mean first machine? Or can it be modified in a variety of ways? And can it mean the first of something else? The teacher said a prototype is a first, especially as a machine. But what else can a prototype be? How can we learn more about prototype? Fortunately, technology tools are perfect for finding examples. Linguists have been using technology for finding examples of words in use for over 50 years. They work with a corpus of texts and a concordancer. The corpus is a large collection of similar texts that are stored electronically. A concordancer is a computer program that searches a corpus for words and phrases that the user chooses and displays the results. The results include the part of the sentence with the word or phrase. Today, teachers and students with access to the internet also have access to a corpus and concordancer to find their own examples of how words are used. Let's take a look at what a corpus search can tell us about the word prototype that we saw earlier. In that context, the meaning referred to the first machine. We'll do this by checking the corpus of contemporary American English, or COCA, as we call it. This is a large collection of American English texts that are used for linguistic research. Because it is available on the internet, you can use it, other teachers can use it, and so can your students. We can type prototype into the text box, press the find matching strings button. A string here means the sequence of letters in the word. And the concordancer returns thousands of examples of prototype used in news stories published on the internet. Let's take a closer look at these to see what more they tell us about the word prototype. In line one, we see a product prototype. So prototype can be modified in some way. In line two, we have lightweight prototype vehicles. So a prototype is not always a robot and it can be used to modify the vehicles. In line three, again, it is used to refer to the lightweight vehicles. But prototype alone refers to them, and we understand from the context what the prototype is. In lines four through eight, we see prototype used to mean the first of some other things. In line four, it is a prototype plant. Many a new genetic variety of a plant created by a biologist. In line five, it is a machine. We don't know what kind. In line six, it looks like it is a game because it says playing this prototype. It is probably a new virtual game. In line seven, it is a company's system. And here we see prototype used in a different way to emphasize the condition or state of something. 
the system is in prototype. In line eight, it is augmented reality prototype glasses. These were just eight of the examples that the concordance are found. I think that these examples show the types of knowledge that can help students learn to use new words. Next, I asked Professor Rinali what teachers need to know about vocabulary.